Virgo, welcome to your reading. I hope this message finds you while you're in good health and good wealth. I hope that you're doing something that you love today, tonight, this afternoon. Whenever this message finds you, simply because you deserve to. Oh. Talk to me, Virgo. I see. You. On the split. King of Swords and the Magician. Hmm. Could be dealing with the Aries. Could be dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Page of Wands. Something new is approaching you in your life that you are excited about. Some type of new endeavor that you're curious about, you want to know more about, you want to learn more about. Could be starting a new project. Could be dealing with a Leo or another fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. There's strength though. And it just tells me whatever this is, it's giving you... Whatever this new journey you're embarking on is, it's... Is something that is making you feel very passionate, excited, and confident, right? I think you're kind of ready to move forward into this. Into this new relationship, this new job, this new creative endeavor, this new project. Oh, look. We got that magician again. Can we deal with the Aries? Definitely, um... Working with what you got and the Six of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this is something that you um, maybe have recently found. Right? I feel like you thought a lot about it. You had to leave some people behind in order to kind of get to this new place or point in your life where you feel ready to kind of, you're ready for the new. Right? You could have struggled in the past with moving on. But this Five of Swords and the Six of Swords in reverse. Because, I mean, who knows? It could have been a job you really liked. It could have been a relationship you really liked, you know? But at the end of the day, you just were not feeling fulfilled or like it was serving your purpose with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse on the bottom. You felt as though there was more out there for you, right? This is, you didn't feel like this situation that you were put in or having to deal with was really faded for you in a sense like of course you were supposed to experience it but you didn't feel like it was the long game for you so you had to take some time out right you had to heal from that you had to do that inner work work on the self so that you can prepare yourself for this new journey that you're going on whether it be a new journey with new people a new journey just on your own you know, or just whatever it is that's kind of lighting your soul on fire right putting you into this magician energy where it's like you're ready to kind of Use all of the tools at, that you have at your disposal in order to create the best outcome for yourself in this environment that you're entering. I, it is something that you're excited about. It's not like you, it's like, it's not coming off as like, oh, I have to do this work. It's like, you're excited to be changing direction. As I say direction, we have the eight of wands. You're excited to be changing realities even, right? Jumping timelines. Oh yeah really excited because it's something that you just you believe in or it's a, a cause that you support or it's just I don't know you feel very connected it's something that actually is appreciating the energy and efforts that you can provide it rather than these old people places and things that <clears throat> were kind of envious of you or just jealous of you or just not treating you right right just talking shit straight up oh This shit again. Let's clarify the page of wands. Hmm. So I think that you're actually taking, you're being, because you're so excited about this new endeavor that you're going on, this new journey, right? Whatever it is that's kind of lighting your soul on fire. Because of that, you're being very careful and cautious about how you approach it, how you show up in the environment, how people see you. You're, you're presenting yourself in a way that, although you're curious and want to know more, you're presenting yourself in a way that is very mature, as though, like, you know what you're talking about, right? Even, like, say you're, like, it's a, you're going to school for the first time, and it's a new subject to you. You don't know anything about it, but you're presenting yourself to know a lot about, like, you're, you're not... Not in like a, an arrogant way, but just in a, 
in a confident way you know you don't i feel like in this new environment you're approaching it different than you have in the past maybe you're you have um, a couple walls up because this is something that you care about you see a lot of opportunity in it so you just want it to work out the best that it possibly can i also have did i call you aries No, I called you Virgo. I'm sorry, I looked at the Emperor card and I was like, wait, what? Because then we had the Magician too. So I know I said Aries a couple times, but this is a Virgo reading. Anyway, clarifying the Magician, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Look, whatever it is that you're doing or working on or working towards, you could be getting a new job. Whatever it is, it's making you inspired, and happy to be a part of it. It's challenging you. And it's also bringing in a lot of abundance, whether it just be emotionally, internally, but absolutely externally, whatever this new thing is you're working on that you're trying to learn more about that you're um, also you're not playing around about in terms of your energetic space. I feel like you're not letting any bullshit come through. Right. So say it is that first day of school and it's like, you know, there's those there's those every, there's those groups. Right. There's the cool kids the nerds the funny kids it's like you know what kid you are and you're you're not veering from that in fact i think you just know you're yourself and you're just being very selective about who you allow in your energy with this king of swords because you're trying to learn more and become the best version of yourself or the best you can be in this environment you're very um picky about who it is you're allowing yourself to be associated with because of that more power to you independent and successful right i cannot hate on that i love that six of swords in reverse clarified by the four of cups there's this reading there's this energy that keeps popping out at the end of the readings funny enough it's like the beginning of the readings lately have been starting very um like i'm ready to do it i'm ready to move on i'm ready to move forward and then at the end it's like well, but what about the past though virgo keep going Okay, so whatever this new environment that you are moving towards or in, right? Six of Swords is kind of like a stuck energy, like, you, you know, you're not necessarily ready to move on. Four of Cups is kind of like an apathetic energy, you know, kind of, or just kind of like a dwelling energy, self-pity energy. But I feel as though what this is saying is that this new environment, because you're obviously thriving in it. <clears throat> I think the past that you did have to leave behind, there could still be memories. You could be reminiscing from time to time about what what they're up to, what they're doing, you know, or this could be their energy that I'm picking up on for you. And they're just wondering about how your new life is going, what this new thing you're doing is, how like they're trying to figure you out. Right. Because I feel like because you're being selective, not a lot of people have access to your energy. So it could be kind of bothering them. And for sure, for sure, because we have the devil on the bottom. <clears throat> Emperor in reverse. And again, then this five of swords. So something about the past people here that you left behind. I don't know. I feel like they're feeling very. I think they're surprised that you kind of put your foot down and moved on. I feel like they didn't expect you to kind of boss up in this magician energy, king of swords energy. And it's making them feel kind of left behind. Right. They're surprised that you detach from their toxic ways and behaviors. Even if it's just an environment, they're surprised that you saw through their bullshit with the seven of swords on the split. They're surprised that you saw the truth about who they were and that they were just toxic and that they were holding you back. Good for you, Virgo. Thrive. <laughs> Thrive, please. There one. Yeah, look at this bullshit. They was trying to keep you in this. They was trying to hide shit from you. They were trying to keep some secrets, right? Maybe do certain tactics that instilled fear in you that would keep you bound. But you just broke through that shit. You saw through the illusions. What's on the bottom? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ten of swords. And what'd you do? Eight of swords, ten of swords, and the moon. You just had to put, keep pushing through, keep that focus, whatever it is that is in kind of lighting you up, right? Could be a new relationship. Like you broke free a while ago. You found something new. Now this person's surprised that you detached or that you're moving on or moving forward. 
or you just found something a new hobby that really inspires you and now this this person's surprised that you're no longer able to be stuck and chained and bound to their energy you saw the devil in reverse eight of swords in reverse the moon ten of swords you just you you outgrew their their ways or just their being right you just outgrew it you learned all those lessons there under the ten of swords three of swords or it could definitely be dealing with the air sign six of swords king of swords eight of swords ten of swords three of swords i think i already said ten you're not letting that heartbreak prevent you from moving on in any way, shape, or form. And under that, the Queen of Swords. Wow. Because you cut that shit out. You cut that off. You're not dealing with that. <sighs> shit, Virgo. I see you. I see ya. All right. The Angel Rasbar on the split. Tell me the truth, I asked love. What are you? I am the everlasting life, love said. I am the re recurring joy of living. Yo, these crows are going crazy, huh? The great beloved sees what is in your heart, what it is you wish to offer, and is saying yes. Will you choose to put aside your doubts and believe in yourself? Will you believe in the power of divine love that reaches out to the world through your willing soul? Ah, yes, I knew your tremendous heart wanted to serve more than it wanted to fear. Absolutely. I feel like right now, like you're, this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like you might not know a lot about it, what this new journey is, but you're just presenting yourself in a way that is showing no fear because you know that you're going to need this confidence to propel you forward so that you can truly leave the past behind and embrace this new start. Now, when you do that, we get the magician and the queen of pentacles. That confidence can go so much farther than a lot of people think, you know? And it does for you, Virgo. Keep the confidence. Even if it even if it, you got to fake it till you make it for a little bit. If you got to act like you know what you're doing, eventually you'll catch on. Just observe. <laughs> observe others do what you're trying to do. You'll catch on and it looks like you'll become a a master. I don't know why I'm touching the tarot. I feel like the past is very hurt. Oh, on the bottom of this deck, we got commitment. I feel like I should read this. Because I feel like this is that energy you're entering, like, new. The awakened heart is like a lantern. Keep it sheltered from the turbulence of the winds of desire. The fear that your desire won't manifest may cause you to try and bend life to your will. It is an unnecessary battle and one that will not serve your soul. Instead, just show up. Be present. Life is not working at cross purposes with you. Far from it. Life is a creative co-conspirator with your heart. These are both very, um, very elegant, I guess. Elegant is the word I'm looking for. All right, let's see. Last one. This is two. Two nights. Her. This shit was crazy. Blessing of Zara. That's a cool looking pick. You use thought to seek release from suffering and pain, while thought is the cause of your suffering and pain. There's something more loving and beautiful awaiting. Do not try to feast upon scraps. Stop scratching in the dirt for stale breadcrumbs. Arise and move toward the seat at the heavenly table gleaming before you. A greater feast awaits your attendance. Yeah, that's for sure talking about, see this, at the end of your reading, we got this four, six of um, swords reversing the four of cups. It's like, and then we saw with that five of swords that you're moving on from this old, these old people, this old group of people, this old environment. It's like, you wanted to make it work, but it just wasn't working. You found something better. Spirit presented you or offered you something better, something that actually ignited your soul, right? That passion, that vitality, that life force energy. Take it it's yours like take action upon it it is it is here for a reason it's presenting itself to you for a reason you feel that inspired for a reason you feel that excited for a reason so don't let the past hold you back from experiencing this newness at all virgo 
All right, I'm gonna get you one of these. On the split, Lilith Equality. Fate, I'm gonna read them both. We have Fortuna, Fate, Aradia, Defense. Okay. Fate and Defense. Do not block your blessings by self sabotaging yourself in any way, shape, or form by sitting in this reminiscent energy of what the past was. The past is in the past for a reason, my Virgos. Come on. Your fate is here, your destiny is here, and it is looking beautiful with this magician and the Queen of Pentacles. Could be done with the Earth sign. Another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or can be done with Aries or Gemini. But let's read it. Let's read it up. Read it up. Yo, sometimes the crows love them to death. But, Sticks and stones, words of fear. Defend, stand strong, shed a tear. Attacks and use to cause alarm, protect, safeguard, and keep from harm. There are only so many times one can endure harsh criticism, judgment, and unfair comments. That's the Five of Swords in a nutshell. <laughs> you feel that you are always under attack, and so defense has become your immediate response mechanism. Sadly, because you feel you have to defend that part of you that others fear to understand, you are dimming your light somewhat to avoid persecution. Aradia will guard you well as she encourages you to ignore the opinions of others, fully embrace exactly who you are, and remind you that the power lives within you. Mystery and magic of the old ways beckon, and Aradia encourages you to tap into the ancient wisdom that is the power of nature. Here you shall find the tools to assist you in protecting all that you stand for. Wow. That's... that's Wow. Defend your path and that of those who have been oppressed, for there is no need to seek the approval of others as Aradia defends your divinity. Quit being on the defensive. Past hurts are affecting your reactions. Mm. Never mistake kindness for weakness. Stand strong in your convictions. Connect with the magic of nature. Defend your cause. Be proud of who you are. A vulnerable per person or animal needs your help. Somebody need your help, Virgo. But you can only help them if you're being yourself. If you're not letting the past hold you back, the pain of the past slow you down. You gotta be tapped into the frequency of the now, the present. Here we go. Fortuna, fate. Enslaved to Rota Fortuna, brought down low, thrown up high. Circle of life offers a new slate. Choices made now seal your fate. Under that, we got prosperity. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I told you, you're going to be abundant in this new season. Virgo. Should you stay or should you go? Should you tell or not? Spend the money or save it? It's as if all your decision-making skills are based on the toss of a coin at the moment. Taking risk has served you well in the past, but your run of good luck may desert you if you don't apply a bit of common sense. Ooh. It's like, you want to take that risk, you want to just jump in head first, but you got to have that common sense, right? You got to make sure you act accordingly so that you can get the best outcome for yourself in this new journey. All right. Gambling your life away, so to speak, might be fine if it's just you that the outcomes affect, but seldom is that the case. The choices you need to make in life now will either put you on a firm and fruitful footing or lead you astray. Fortuna is Lady Luck personified. She straddles the fine line between the prosperous and the barren, 
with the wheel of fortune weighing heavily around her neck, for that is her job. It is not yours today, so consider what you could win and lose in the upcoming choices you must make and leave nothing to chance. Stop spending money like water. Don't fight what you cannot change. Look before you leap. Find out more about a person you are getting close to. Don't listen to gossip. Go to the source. Your luck is set to change. Ride out a storm as things are looking calmer ahead. Go with a hunch. Trust yourself, but also we live in the 3D, right? There are certain consequences to the actions that we make, positive and negative. So just understand where you, what is at stake before you make the decisions that you make, my Virgos. Yeah, just be cautious, but also understand that like the new is here and I think you're very excited about it and I think you're ready to jump in head first and I'm not saying don't do that. Definitely embrace this new experience 100% because I think it's going to um, ignite your soul, so to speak, right? It's going to give you this new sense of passion and life force energy that we all deserve to experience and it feels as though you're kind of leaving these these stormy this stormy time period in your life it's like you're entering something new now and it might be hard to keep that door fully shut to the past because of what the past was for you but i think the if you focus on how prosperous and abundant this new beginning can really be for you then i think the past will not really take up a lot of space in your mind energetically spiritually at all you know just Get rid of the things that don't matter, things that aren't adding to your success, Virgo. And just be, be free. You know, don't get caught up in what what could have been or what you don't have. Focus on the present, the now, what you do have and what is. Because that's going to help you find your success and overall just happiness in this current present life that you're living. All right, Virgo. We'll see you soon. Bye.